Hey Capricorn, thank you for tuning in with me for your weekly message. Please take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with you because this is a general message, not a personal. For those who are new here to my channel, I am a psychic medium. Um, so I do not use any cards or any tools when it comes to your personal readings um, or live Q&As. Um, I will be doing Q&A tonight as well between 7 and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so you can definitely tune in for that. Um, I will be providing more games, too, throughout the week, possibly tonight as well. So definitely tune in if you want a question answered, and you can see me in action for yourself or for those returning. Come on through. Um, if you want more of me, like dailies, weeklies, monthlies, um, meditation sessions, chakra, crystals, um, and so much more, Join me in Patreon. That link is listed in the description of this video. To book a personal, I think I said that, to book a personal um, is listed in the description as well. Okay. All right, Capricorn. Let's get into it. What is it, Spirit? Please show us a message for Capricorn. Capricorn. What is Capricorn message at this time? Capricorn. Capricorn, not the Divine Feminine in reverse, or someone dealing with the False Divine Feminine. It may not be you, Capricorn, but it could be a False Divine Feminine um, Capricorn out there as well. You know how that goes with every sign, right? But you know where you're at. So, we have um, Divine Feminine in reverse. We have Grip. Mm. Yeah, Anchor, Chains, Way Down, Magnetic, Unexplainable, Pull. And at the bottom of the deck, we have lockdown, mental prison, confined. Someone is stressing out. Let's get one over here, Spirit. Mm, Capricorn. Spirit, show us a message for Capricorn. What is Capricorn message with this deck? Capricorn. No, it is not the right time. So... They said, <laughs> okay, just from this message, Capricorn, I'm getting, if this is you, this does, this do not mean you a bad person. Um, it's just that you could be working in, in your lower vibrational energy right now. Things that you know you shouldn't do or things like you, you could have negative thoughts, um, thinking worst case scenarios quite often, you know, you need to vibrate higher, get grounded. You know, every now and then we have to recharge our energy. Just make sure you're not doing anything where, you know, where it's questionable. Like, if you have to question, man, if I do this, what this, is this right? Should I do this? You know, if you know, you know deep down in your soul, your intuition is telling you yay or nay. <laughs> so just listen to that, that gut feeling, okay? Don't do anything where you're going to regret it, um and cause you to go down even lower now this could be the energy that someone could be in and it's weighing you down you don't feel like yourself you feel way down you feel like something got a hold on you and you can't let go it's like you got to keep returning back um and this could be you in the energy of this mental prison uh feeling confined to whoever this is this person is and spirit is telling you no it is not the right time, this is not the right person, or this is just, it's not the right time, you know, so, uh, and what, <laughs> what I was laughing at was the pets, it says, getting a new pet, giving more, giving your current pet more love, they like, if you don't get a pet, put that love into that pet, because it ain't this person, whoever this is, that keep pulling you back in, um, but let's see, that's a message for someone, but of course, the this definitely can turn around, change, but let's see more. Spirit, please show us more on this energy for Capricorn. 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 Capricorn, Spirit, please show. Show us a message for Capricorn. Three of Swords, Heartbreak. Show us the current energy. Four of Cups, C. Mm -mm. Near future. All right, Capricorn. Straight up. Listen. It's time for a change. Whatever, whoever this is that got a hold on you, you recognize it. 
So if you recognize it, you feel, you know exactly who I'm talking about, who spirit is talking about, that keep pulling you back in, giving, keep giving this person another chance. Um, after they broke your heart, you, you done grieved over this situation, then you go back. No, Capricorn, what? This person got a tight hold on you because I'm not seeing most Capricorns do this. So I don't know what the heck they, they got over you, but it's strong. Um, but you got to show your strength. You're going to have to be strong out of this situation. For some of you, it could be the situation where it's a masculine that's being drawn back to a false divine feminine. Someone who is in their low vibrational energy and they can't let go. They keep being put towards that situation or this is you. Okay. But in a recent past, there was some heartbreak. You know, this heartbreak could have been because you know this is not healthy for you. You know this situation is not right for you. You know you deserve better. You know you can do better. But it's like I just can't put it down. It's like a an addiction. Definitely um, an addiction. And, and, and you're tempted to keep going back. Um, or this person is tempted to keep coming back to you. And the current energy is the Four of Cups. This you missing this person. Or this person missing you. It's just... Not satisfied with your current situation, still yearning for what could have been, what, or just missing this person, period. And in their future, you have the two of wands. You choosing a new route, choosing, or the new route is your path where you should be guided, you know, where you actually guided towards. So, and in their future, it look like you're going to be making the right choice. For some of you, the time is just different. So, for... Really? That was so weird. <laughs> for some of you, the time is different. <laughs> um. Anyways. uh. So, for some of you, you could already be in this current... You know, you could be in this situation right now. Like, you already chose your... the You chose the direction that you want to go. You chose the path outside of this situation because that is where you're guided to but some of you you're here you know and some of you you could be here you're in the missing phase missing this person trying to get over this heartbreak for some of you you're in the beginning stages of this heartbreak um let's get more All right, Spirit, please show us a message for Capricorn. Let's get more for Capricorn. Capricorn, let's get one on a three of swords for the recent past energy. Capricorn. Capricorn, three of swords. Three of swords in the recent past. Capricorn. All right, healing. Yes, okay, healing from heartbreak. So in a recent past, this, you know what, Capricorn, well, like I said, we all have our times. You know, you're not going to always be, I mean, the, the goal is to always be in high vibrational energy. You know, do what's right. But it looked like, you know, you could have fell in the trap of this um, situation with someone that was toxic. And it caused you to lower your vibration. And it caused this, this, this heartbreak, you know. Um, you may have done some things that you wish you didn't. Looking back on it, it's like, what the heck? I, I'm better than that. I know I shouldn't have even did that. But, you know, we live and we learn. But this is healing. So this heartbreak is actually um, causing more healing for you in other areas. So this situation actually needed to happen. Um, and it just is it's opening you up to heal in many areas. Not just that particular situation. That particular situation that caused that heartbreak. That was, that was, it's like that was the icing on the cake for all the pain, the trauma, the hurt that you have went through in your past. So it's a lot of healing that's going on. Um, let's get more on the Four of Cups. Four of Cups for Capricorn. Four of Cups. Yes. All right, so 
I am getting like nostalgic in it, energy though. I am feeling that. So maybe this could be, you know, just reminiscing about the good times, the, pa the past where, you know, it's like first, you know, that heartbreak, it caused, it caused anger and that upset energy. Um, that I wish I never met you energy, <laughs> but then you start healing and realizing, you know what, I needed to go through this. And then you going into, it's just emotions. So then you going into, uh, you know, looking back on it, like, dang, I missed this. I miss those times. We actually had some good times, you know, but not really stepping into it again, which you shouldn't. They're guiding you not to because that grip is like having a tight hold on you and keep bringing you back in. You're going to have to um, have courage to keep moving forward. So that's going to be your victory by have leaving this and uh rejecting it not giving in to this cup not accepting this offer if this person is trying to give you an offer to come back to them or whatnot so that's going to be your victory rejection Re whether this is rejection of you they're rejecting you or you rejecting them but it's it's bringing you victory show us more on the two of wands for capricorn Two of Wands in their future. Judgment. So for some of you, it like I said, now is not the time. For some of you, this situation may not be completely over. And then I, I don't have an ending here. But it had to have some type of... um. It had to have a standstill or a separation for you to heal. This person to heal for you to think about this connection, this person to think about this con however it broke up whatever happened, it needed to happen for someone to be um, to gain this enlightenment of this connection but with the two of wands in the near future and a judgment it's like there's a renewal it's like you may have had to distance yourself to get a hold on yourself now for some of you this renewal is just having a, a second chance or third have a, <laughs> another chance at um, having that what you dreamed of having. And it could have been with the wrong person, though. Show us more on judgment. Some of you, it could be a Sagittarius, Aquarius, Scorpio. Show us more on the judgment. Someone could have air or fire or water in their chart. Cancer, Aries. Libra in particular. Show us more on judgment. Judgment for the near future. Judgment. Some of you have a choice to make on what you want to do or how you're going to go about this without um, without thinking about how others may feel. I feel like that's not a big issue for you. If it is, you just need to continue doing the work, the healing. Because otherwise, you're not going to let that bother you. Show us more on judgment. The lovers in reverse. So it may be time to let let a lover go. It could be a Gemini. Show us more with lovers. Yeah. All right. So the main message, what I was previously getting, the main message is. Um, you doing that that work, that inner work um, with yourself, your emotions, healing from that heartbreak, um, whatever it was this person have caused on you, whether it was lies, deception, you know, um, or choosing someone else, or just the headache, the overall headache of this connection because it was definitely not healthy. Um, which is why it's calling in a lot of healing. The temperance, the star. For some of you, you have an angel, a feminine energy that's around a female that's around you that's uh, healing, helping, healing you. It could be a Sagittarius or Aquarius. They could have those placements. But this person is trying to help you heal your heart, your broken heart. So you won't repeat the pattern of going back to someone that you know is not going to work. Um, stop dealing with this person in any way. Um, 
you know, and when you when you're in a vulnerable state, you know that's when you really need to put your boundaries up. So this is a situation where you need to let something go, let someone go. Um and just watch how things transform for you. It's like in the near future with the two of wands, this is you making a plan and sticking with the plan going towards what you desire and what you desire is a renewal in your love life uh in your heart um or as a family with a family a renewal not necessarily with that particular person but just you know with with what you desire who you desire the kind of person you desire not necessarily a particular person but that is what's going to go on. Some of you, you're in this energy and you're rejecting a lover. Someone who, um, whoever this person is, is the person that broke your heart or um, could have chosen another lover or um, whatever the case was, it's over. It's done. And that's what you need to keep in mind. Block this energy off. Stop communicating. Um, even if, like, okay, we could just be friends. No, because then they still have access to you release that how how if you still have feelings for this person because if even if you're angry you're angry at this person still those are feelings once you know you're done that anger is going to be gone the desire of being with that person is going to be gone so not just the desire of being with the person maybe that is over with but that anger that that anger that you get when it's when the thought of this person you know that's because there are still feelings. So once you completely heal, then you'll be able to talk to this person. But in the now or in the near future, for some of you, this is, it needs to be cut off. For some of you, it's for good. You need to just cut it off. Communication needs to be cut. Someone is not able or capable to give you what you desire. And that's why you're in this mental prison, feeling locked down, confined. It's time to cut someone off drastically. Yes, the drastic, extreme, harsh cut off. Cut this person off. This person may be, um, mm -mm. yeah. No, cut this person off. It's, it's not no good for you. So, let's see. So, I'm going to extend this in Patreon. And get more on this message of who this person is and what they want with you and what's the outcome of the situation because it's not really given out it's not because this is just the near future so yeah it could be a block communication you end up blocking this person not talking to them anymore for the time being but that's not long like i mean it could be for some but we got to see that in the outcome though uh, let's see. They got a tight hold on you, whatever this is. Yeah, um, what's that song? Calling me back, me back. What's that, Chingy? <laughs> Show us a message for um, Capricorn. Capricorn. Cupid's arrow. Here we go. It's calling you back. See, don't. This could be in your your um, vulnerable energy. Show us more. But they say have faith. Love is coming. Okay? Love is coming. It's just not with that one. But some of you, it's like you've been... Um, you could have been single for some time. For some of you. And it's still like a past lover that's still lingering in your energy. That have... That you are, you're still healing from. Because healing is not overnight. Healing can take years. Okay? But we have um, self-indulge, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. That's exactly what I was getting with the divine feminine in reverse. Yeah, I could have put that on the side chick, the other person, whoever. This could be you, divine masculine, in reverse. You have to work on self. We all have to work on self from time to time. Like, well, that should be an everyday task. So it won't get, you know, too bad. But it happens when you get to this point when you really put your all into something and they really hurt you. 
It could take some time, but they're telling you what to do. Focus on self. Show us more for Capricorn Fire. Hold on. Show us one more for Capricorn Spirit. Capricorn. Capricorn. Heart with the key. Welcome and love. You're going to meet the one. See, this is why you must heal from this heartbreak. Because when that one come in, you got to be open to it. Your heart going to have to be open to new love. But if you still, and it may not be um, consciously doing this. You, you may not even know that, but that's why you need to heal because then it won't happen that way but you have to have to work on self you have to see and even the way the cars came out the the have faith love is coming focus on self self-worth time to heal self-appreciation shadow work then welcome in love meeting the one open your heart this new connection is going to be the one it's going to be perfect for you and we could see, I'm going to see more on that situation in your extended reading as well. Um, yeah, see who, who's coming in for you. But yeah, see the seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. You could have been dealing with someone who put you in a third party or you put someone in a third party, whatever. However it was, it wasn't healthy. And that's why it needs to be cut off. All right, Capricorn, that's all I have for you at this time. I hope you receive some clarity, understanding to your situation. If this is at all your situation, if it's not, then look into the other signs. Um, of course, your sun sign may not resonate every single time, but you know if this is yours. If, if you stay this long, then more than likely it's your message, okay? Um, just take uh, what Spirit is saying because it's going to help you. And uh, don't forget, make sure your notification bell is on so you can tune in for Q&As tonight um, between 7 and 8 o'clock p.m. for a question to be answered or for games. All right, until next time, Capricorn.